What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going dirt biking. Uh, we're gonna take the old 150 and we're gonna take the 125, both as you guys seen in the last videos. Uh, come here and zoom in on this brake pad. You can see the brake pads on this thing are completely shot. Uh, hit that 3X, really show them where. There's nothing left, pretty much. I got some brake pads laying around, so we're gonna throw those in before we ride. Uh, just change the oil, air filter, all that stuff is mint. Suspension is freshly rebuilt on this bike. So uh, hopefully it stops raining by the time we get there. It shouldn't be raining, but we're gonna go ahead change the brake pads Clean the air filter on the KTM and uh, we'll be good to go. So yeah Alrighty, so let's just go ahead take this rear wheel off change the brake pads out real quick and uh, we should be good to go So uh, yeah, let's get right into it Alrighty Magical baby Let's see how crusty these are Oh shoot First YZ125, like an older one, not like a 2021, without a frozen uh, axle. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go. What? Bad lighting? All righty. Drop this right here. Brake rotor overheated for sure, but uh, it's definitely time for a new one too. We just don't have time for that, so we're not gonna do it. But yeah, let's go ahead, uh, throw everything back in. New brake rotors, we should be good. Or not brake rotors. How did these even come on? I think you just unscrew them with a flathead. We're gonna try that. Never done YZ brake pads. This is it. Magic. Oh. Ah, now they want an Allen wrench. Does it go this way? Maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Magic. Oh, see? These are smaller brake pads. Alright, so I need to go get different ones. All right, let's go to the basement and get some different brake pads. I think they're like, what, skinnier? All righty, guys. Well, we found some uh, brake pads laying around, so we're going to go ahead and throw them in. And I'll catch you guys whenever we get this whole thing situated. What? Is that how it goes? All right, you ready? It's already rolling. All right. We, we, we chuck it around. Oh, that's how you do it. Right there. Um, all right, got her all slid in. All right, I just gotta line up. You ready? Professional way how not to install your brake or your chain. Baby, Ugh. all right, pump the brakes a little. Get them all loosey goosey. Now, I just need to pump up this rear tire because it's kind of flat. That took longer than it should have. You think? Yes, sir. Give her the old juicer. Ten pumps, ten psi. Oh yeah, that's good. We can let out air once we get there. We're gonna be doing a little bit of woods riding today. Nothing serious. Pretty simple stuff. Just you know. Let's hop over to this KT. 
Alrighty. Let's give her the old yanker. As you can tell, factory. I mean, it came like this from KTM directly. Uh, I'm not the one that changed this air filter last. That was the guy before, but it's pretty clean on the air box, so we're not too worried. And the inside's pretty clean. Come get a shot of this mug right there. As you can tell, perfectly OEM, so no worries here or there. Rip her off. Where did that thing go? Here it is. I need to clean that out. Go ahead, clean her out. And uh, watch this air filter with you guys. It's absolutely favorite. Come a little closer, maybe. You guys might hate on this, but here is my uh, understanding. You can see the inside is still clean. So the air filter is fine. It's just caked up. Uh, what my rule is usually, I'll clean it one time and I'll replace it the next time. And uh, this is the first time it's getting cleaned. So as you can tell, about seven to ten dollars worth of gas right there. Get it all nice and looped up, and she'll clean right out. And you guys say, oh, gas is going to make it deteriorate. Oh, well, guess what? By the time it's deteriorated, it's already changed down. It's in the trash. So, uh, yeah, not everyone has time for new air filters, but you can see it is getting a lot cleaner. I'm just going to go ahead. Probably filter out through the gas, get some new one in here. Get this thing looking mint, and I'll catch you guys when she's clean. All right, that's ATM, baby. All right, we're gonna see if this bike can start up. We're pretty good. Oh shoot, did the double over filler special. Don't do what I'm doing guys. It ain't cheap. Pretty much out. That'll probably last us the whole day. Alrighty guys, so I pretty much have a lifelong uh, supply of Dominator racing oil, AMS oil. So we're gonna run today. He's gonna be running it not too hard. So we're gonna run her a little 32 to one. Nothing major. Fill her up to the top, right about there. That's 32 to one. And we're just gonna dump it into this gas tank. So that way when we go to the gas station, we already know what we're running. 32 to one, throw five gallons and uh, yeah, about $30. So yeah, let's get out of here. I am tired. And let's see how she rolls. Oh shoot. KTM's about to get ejected off of the truck. I don't even know what happened here, but she about to fall off. Let's get her back loaded up, nice and straight. We'll be good to go. Platty. The goods have been secured. 
They're looking good. Let's see how much. I was at like a little less than half tank of a load. Not fun. All right, let's fill up the that with 93. All right, we already got the two-stroke uh, pre-mixed in there. It's stuck up there. All right, there we go. Get this all filled up. KTM looks fresh, honestly. Hopefully, he doesn't drop it. If you guys don't know who the guy that's riding, uh, that's my cousin Jacob. He opened the YouTube channel with me, but he just kind of stopped uploading because Florida is a lot different than South Carolina. But let's get five gallons in here and get out of here. Alrighty, guys, we're about to hit 80K miles on this thing. Uh, it is way past overdue time to sell it. 80K on the dot. What are your thoughts? Alrighty guys, well, that is gonna be the end of this uh, trip out on the dirt bikes. The old 125 did us well. No major issues, no problems. Yeah, as you can tell, it is a Yamaha, so it's gonna be reliable. We're not gonna run into some crazy issues like the KTM. 
Uh, KTM, no issues either, except for suspension, which is uh, pretty much expected when you buy a KTM, you have to sign a waiver that the suspension is gonna suck. So yeah, we do have a little issue. Uh, I don't know if that was in the beginning of the video, but two bolts fell out, no biggie. You're gonna have to go home, get some new ones. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, go ahead and load these things up, head on home. Sorry there was no video on, what was that, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. My sister just had her wedding this weekend, so wasn't able to get a video out, but I'll be back to the two videos a week this week. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.